It's about as homey as you get. Fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and sausage gravy. Hey, I'm Tuffy. As much as I love grilling and barbecuing, I am a sucker for a cast iron skillet. I usually have three or four of them sitting in my oven. I like for them to, to, to get hot all the time, to keep them seasoned. This one is made by a friend of mine, Dennis Butterpat. Just a really, really great, high quality cast iron. I've got a huge collection, so I've got cast iron that was my mother's and my grandmother's. Um, I've got old cast iron, new cast iron. But today I'm gonna use my Butterpat and I'm gonna do fried chicken, which I am going to top with a, a sausage gravy. So it doesn't get any more homey than that. It's comfort food. A lot of times uh, where I come from, we do sausage gravy over biscuits, but today we're gonna to do it over fried chicken. So the first step we're gonna do is I've got some chicken breast here and we're just gonna pound it out a little bit. So it's gonna be thin, it's gonna cook quicker and it'll cook more evenly. So we can just take this, put it in the refrigerator for now. The next thing we're gonna do is get our dredge ready. I've got one cup of flour, which I'm gonna add one tablespoon of one of my newest rubs, the Big Umami. Big Umami is mostly salt, pepper, garlic. It's uh, just a big flavor boost. I love it, it's great on everything, but it's gonna be perfect for this fried chicken flour dredge. In this bowl, I've got four eggs, which I'm gonna beat and season with two teaspoons of the Big Umami. You know, I'm using the Big Umami to do a lot of my seasoning for this dish because I love it. But if you don't have it, you could just use salt, pepper, add a little granulated garlic in there. It's your choice. If you got another rub you really like, I tend to go savory, no sugar when I'm seasoning this dish. So I will just refrigerate these uh, beaten eggs until ready to use. So the first thing I'm gonna do to prepare my sausage gravy, I've got my skillet getting hot. I'm gonna put a touch of oil in there. I've got some breakfast sausage in here, which has uh, got a lot of sage in there. And I am just gonna brown it up and, and crumble it up and crisp it, render out that fat and cook it till done. I'll remove it from the pan, put it on a plate with paper towel to drain. Then we'll continue to make the gravy. So now we're gonna heat some milk till it's just starting to steam. So there's about two cups of milk in there and I'm just gonna heat it up until it just about boils. So I've steamed my milk. I'm gonna remove it from the burner. I'm gonna add my cast iron skillet. So I've got about two tablespoons of my pork drippings from the sausage that I browned off. And I'm gonna add about the same in flour, but I'll just uh, stir it all together until it becomes a paste. And I wanna cook it until the flour flavor kind of goes away. So I don't really wanna pick up color. Ruse is a whole nother conversation. We're gonna use this to thicken that milk. I've been cooking my flour with my sausage drippings and now I'm going to start to add some of my hot milk to the pan. So we're just gonna cook this till it thickens, season with a little fresh cracked black pepper, a touch of the big umami, you can use uh, just salt and pepper if you want. Continue to cook this till it thickens. We're gonna add the sausage to it. This is gonna be the topping for our fried chicken. So at this point, you just wanna like, you know, get the sausage hot through, check for seasoning. If you need some more salt, some more pepper, just adjust to your preference. We'll remove from the heat and we'll then fry our chicken. Now it's time to fry the chicken. I'm gonna shallow fry in a cast iron skillet. Here I've got some organic canola oil. You could use uh, peanut oil, whatever oil you want. You just want a nice neutral oil. And again, we're shallow frying. So I'm just gonna come up about maybe a half an inch, get it hot, dredge my chicken and fry away. So I've got my seasoned flour for dredging. I've got my eggs lightly beaten, seasoned again with the big umami. I'm gonna start with the flour, go to the egg, back to the flour, put it on the plate, and then we'll fry. I like to fry my chicken at 325. Going in, dropping it away from you.
So I'm frying my chicken, I flipped them. We're gonna cook these chicken breasts until the internal temperature is about 160 degrees. Then we're gonna move them to a plate that's lined with a paper towel to let that grease drain off. So to, to plate this dish, super homey. We could come in with a green vegetable or something if we wanted to, but we're just gonna take our fried chicken breast. I've got some creamy mashed potatoes that I made. So I got my creamy potatoes on the plate. I've just put a fried chicken breast on there. Now I'm gonna to top both of them with some really delicious sausage gravy that I seasoned up with my big umami. If we wanted to, you like it a little bit spicier, we can come in with your favorite hot sauce and just whisk that in to your sausage gravy if you want a little touch of heat. So there you have it. It's a rainy, cold night. You're feeling kind of pouty. Just uh, whip you up some potatoes, fry you some chicken, make some sausage gravy, and you'll feel a lot better. <laughs>